The name's Bond. Disulfide Bond. Okay, maybe that's a little too mysterious for today's topic of disulfide bonds, but names are important. You might also know disulfide bonds as SS bonds or disulfide bridges, but no matter what name you're looking for, you've come to the right place. Before we get into disulfide bonds, we first need to talk about cysteine. I know, I know, why the heck we need to talk about cysteine. It's not called a cysteine bond, but stay with me. Cysteine is one of our body's 10 non-essential amino acids, meaning we can synthesize it by ourselves. Cysteine plays a very important role in stabilizing proteins, detoxification, and supporting different metabolic functions, and you can also find it in skin, hair, and nails. The composition of cysteine is unique. It's one of the only two amino acids that contains sulfur, and the only one that has a thiol group, which essentially is a sulfur-hydrogen bond. So, now back to disulfide bonds. Disulfide bonds are covalent bonds that join, wait for it, two cysteine molecules. We love a full circle moment, right? Disulfide bonds join the cysteine molecules by their thiol groups, linking up the two sulfur molecules and ditching two hydrogen atoms and two electrons in the process. Disulfide bonds are extremely strong. They don't just link to amino acids. They contribute to the tertiary structure of a protein too. Okay, maybe a cool James Bond reference wasn't too out of the disulfide bonds league. They are pretty cool. Click on the video on your screen to learn more about the fascinating field of biology, including proteins and so much more. Like the video so you tell me and YouTube you want to see more of these. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next upload, and we'll see you on the next one.